take one. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to JD's Cake Vlogs. I just finished decorating some cupcakes and I just wanted you to join me while I clean up. If you missed it, go ahead and check it out. I usually link the last video in the description box below. To those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Jade. I am a cake decorator representing the Tri-Island State of Grenada, Caracou and P.T. Martini. And every week I like to share what a typical day in the life is being a cake decorator. If you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. So let's get into today's video. There are things everywhere, I just need to sort it out. Let's pack everything back where it should be and clean up. I'm gonna insert this before clip. My son was in here earlier, so he contributed to the mess as well. These are some edible prints I just got from another cake decorator. She usually assists me with printing them because I don't do edible printing. It's a Barcelona themed cupcake, so stay tuned to see how those turn out. Alright, so this is the aftermath. Behind the scenes, you get to see everything. <laughs> okay. So I have to pack all of this away. Let's get started. My son is done for his nap. Let's see if we're going to be able to achieve all of this. I'm trying to figure out the best location to place the camera. I think I'll place it over there or maybe even here because I don't think I have to go out for anything. So I'll place the camera on this side because I want to give you a view of the entire room while I do this. Hopefully this is a, a good angle. So I'll place them in these. If you're familiar with edible prints, what I would have to do is place some fondant at the back of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut them and have them ready. Leave a comment below if you've ever worked with edible prints or if you've ever had a cake or a cupcake which included an edible print design on it. Let me know what theme it was. So stay tuned for an upcoming video to see how these cupcakes turn out. What is your favorite soccer team? Are you guys Barcelona fans? I know absolutely nothing about soccer. I'm not much of a sports fan. <laughs> but dealing with cakes, I've come across some soccer teams. Manchester, Barcelona. Uh, I think that's all I can recall right now. How oh, about you guys? Are you into soccer? And if so, what's your favorite team? Another two of the popular requested teams I get is Chelsea and Arsenal. My hands aren't always available. I have the time now, so I'm doing it. My motto is do what you can when you can. Perfect example. Those of you that are stay-at-home moms, you know that nap times are life, right? <laughs> can I get an amen? <laughs> it's when you get to be most productive. So that's a little time management tip for you guys. The customer was very pleased with her cupcakes. She collected it this morning. I haven't gotten any feedback as to the taste as yet. So if she lets me know, I'll update you guys. Today is very overcast. I think we're on a trend of rainy days. Hopefully sometime next week the sun comes out and I'm going to make some browns. It's Saturday the time now is 11 on the dot. I'm not sure what I'm going to be cooking today. Maybe something simple and quick. I think I'll do faster. I'm not sure. Do you guys enjoy seeing what I cook in a day? Let me know if you enjoy those so I'll include more of them. Or if you don't like seeing them, let me know so I'll stop. Because <laughs> I don't want to bore you with my food. I try to share things that I like looking at and I enjoy looking at people prepare meals, do meal preps and so. 
if I thought you may appreciate it but if not no problem comment below and let me know and if you have any suggestions for future content that you want to see more of something or less of something let me know all right since we're on the topic of meal prep what are you going to be cooking today share your menu with us in the comment section I usually stick it on fondant so I would wet to the fondant slightly and then stick it to give it a bit of body before placing it on the cupcakes. I don't just want to place the flat paper. For these cupcakes I think I'll make some soccer cleats and soccer balls, you know, different soccer related items. How many times did I just say soccer? Is that all? Oh. I almost threw it away. I have three more. So once we get this part out of the way, I'll clear off this tabletop first. Some of you are asking me where I got the table. It came in from the US. I'll link the company down below in case you're interested in bringing in one yourself. But there's also a hack that I used before I had this table. I used for many years. You know those folding tables? I'm not sure if they come in different colors but mine was white those tables that are able to collapse and open up that's what I used before and what I did was purchase a white piece of fabric covered the table and stapled with my staple gun and then I got those plastic that they usually place on your kitchen table and dining table that's what we do where I'm located <laughs> I'm not sure if everybody does that but those clear sheets of plastic you get it at it at parcels or so i covered the table in it and stapled all the way around with a staple gun so that way whenever i rolled fondant and so the cleanup was much easier and you're guaranteed a smooth finish because the folding table had texture to it but because i placed that plastic over it everything came out smooth and easy to clean so it worked really well if you're not able to get your hands on a stainless steel table, that's something you can do. Whenever I have problems, I try to figure out some sort of solution and I didn't have this table at the time, so that was my solution. So stay tuned to see how these cupcakes turn out. I'm just going to place these away. The same way I meal prep, I prep in every situation because time isn't always on my side. So the more I can advance things, it's better for me. Are any of you like that? Do you plan and prep everything ahead? Or are you the type of person to just go with the flow? By the way, I'm going to link contact details to the person that does the edible prints. In case you're interested, you can reach out to them. I said I would start here and then I'm, that's how I operate, like I start somewhere and then I'm everywhere. So let me put the camera, I'll try to get it at an angle where you can see most of what I'm doing. Are you like that? Like when you're cleaning, you start somewhere and then you see something else here, so you put it there and then you see something there, so you, eventually it all gets cleaned, but that's, that method works for me. This has to go in the kitchen to get washed. I'll put this garbage in here to throw it away one time. If you're enjoying the video so far, guys, I want to encourage you to pause for a moment and show the channel some love. Hit the like button. To those of you who are new, consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of the Cake Vlog family. I wonder if it would fit in here. Let's see. Let's find out. I have a feeling it's not going to fit, but I don't know, I have a feeling it might. <laughs> we try to squeeze everything in here. What do you think? You think it's going to fit? Or it's not going to fit? The fridge is so loud. Do you guys hear how quiet it just got? The refrigerator is really loud. So did you bet it was going to fit? Because if you did, then you see that it is going to fit. You guessed right. <laughs> 
See? Told you it was gonna fit. I wasn't sure, but I'm glad that it did. So I'll just place this in the refrigerator until I'm using blue frosting again. Not sure if all of you know this, by now you should if you look at the videos. We do sell the buttercream frosting, we also sell marshmallow fondant. All of my contact details, it's in the description bar below. So if you're interested in purchasing, you can reach out to me for more information. Every Friday is Bread Friday. We do a multi-grain bread. So put in your orders early, you don't want to get left. Guys, so enjoy the rest of this video and stay tuned to see how the cupcakes come out in a future post. Also, comment your flag down below. Let me know which part of the world you're looking at this from. It's windy. Do you hear the wind? Guys, ensure you're following me on my other social media platforms, Instagram and Facebook. I post more frequently on there. Sometimes I go live, I host different giveaways. So if you're not already following along, go ahead and do so. I'm just gonna pass the broom on the floor. And we're done. Call that judge. As my teacher in um, college used to say, his, his name was Mr. George. So he used to say, no, don't call it George, call it something else. So let's call it something else. So you call it, call that fish, call that GT, call that you get through. And <laughs> call it what you want, but we done. I think I'll end the video here for today. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep and then show you what everything looks like in the end. If you enjoy spending this bit of time with me and you like the style of video, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Remember, live your dreams and create the life that you want for yourself. Until next time, bye guys. See you in the next video.